in this episode of YC Test Drive, I drive an Amarok on gravel road. Night drive has been made easy with these IQ lights. Hi everyone, it's Cliff here for YC Test Drive. Thank you so much for those that are following YC Test Drive YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. You guys are actually the reason why I keep on producing content. So today in this video, I have the new generation VW Amarok. I had to bring it here in the gravel road where it belongs. So in this video, I'm going to show you quickly around the car. I'm going to show you the interior, how it looks like, the tech that this car has. And then definitely I have to test drive it on gravel road and see if it's still stable as the old generation. Two liter produces 154 kilowatts. That's a 500 newton meter of torque. It's a four cylinder um, in life. Really, that space there between um, between the engine and the radiator and the fan. Plenty of space. It's the, the intake, the air intake here as well. The grill, that grill looks different. What is this? Yeah, this space. This thing will be sucking insects. I'm telling you if you drive in the night or if you do off-road Probably one has to put a net here But I can see there is some space for screws So someone can put that the sensors there The fog lights, LED LED lights with LED indicators Which is different from the other one And this chrome, silver chrome all the way to the, to the here The bonnet looks slightly different With that curvature, a feel There's an 18 inch alloy rim with these huge black carry bars so of course the side skirts and you have this matte black on your on your mirrors and silver right on top with LED indicators. The wheel arch is trimmed in black plastic which makes it quite unique and you have this curvature here and you also have the brake pads right at the back here as well um, which is really quite good to have brake pads right here. Four motion written right there this time. They did it for everyone. All the generation, we had the issue with the tail light. Sometimes it would, the clips would break off, but this is quite different. Of course, it doesn't come with this Amarok in black. And we had to put black stickers there just to make it pop out. You have the reverse camera there. The difference between also the style and the life, the style has the chrome finishing uh, on the rear bump. We have the roll bump. So for one, if you want to put a canop, you cannot put a canop with this roll bar. Unfortunately, you have to remove them. You have this black on your loading box, uh, black trim all the way, the plastic black trim. Yeah. Right here, you tell me it's very, very, very light. Very light. I mean, I cannot describe how light it is. It's, it's, it's very light. And you have your brake light here. Usually, with the old um, generation, this specific light would be somewhere there on top and then in here under there and also on that side there is a light led lights the anchors this time they brought them here and also here oh by the way one of the things is now the tailgate locks with the central locking system i mean with the locking system or if i lock now i just lock the car the tailgate won't open okay, just starting from the door itself okay you open it by pressing a hinge here inside which is different from the previous model of course you, you have the chrome on the window buttons um, you can see that it has two different mirrors right here it doesn't have the knob anymore like it used to have and then of course you can adjust from there you can fold the mirrors there you can adjust the level of the light here you can also dim the cockpit light and then now you can either put them on auto, you can pack, put on pack, or you can switch them off, or you can switch them auto. And as you do that, the car also indicates it shows um, right there as well. It has this stitching, this stitching here, it makes the door really feel quite soft. Same applies right here on top, you have this stitching as well. Yeah, it's still the same stitching right here on top. The steering wheel feels like the one for the VW Transporter, of course, slightly thicker. If you haven't seen the video of me reviewing the VW Transporter, click the pop-up banner in the corner there, 
and check that video. As with multi-function, you can go to your settings where you can change what you would want to be displayed there. Uh, if you want the uh, audio, the radio, your navigation and all that, you can custom make what you want to be displayed in between here, depending on how you want. Right. And then also on your right side, it's the same thing. You can custom make what you want to be displayed there, which is quite easy. All right. And then you can also change it into miles if you want to use miles, but it will still show you, it will still show you the kilometer reading right here at the bottom. Okay. So um, we will put it in kilometers. Let me quickly just take it back kilometers prefer in kilometers you can check the tire pressure you can see the different tire pressure now We've reduced it because of gravel driving in here if you are towing a trailer it will then show you um, the car and show you the distance in terms of the trailer but now it shows that there's no trailer connected you can have that says those settings and then you can have um, the off-road settings where you can select in terms of uh, pitch and roll um, how the car is banking angles from one side to the other and how it goes up and down in terms of um, if you are doing off-roading all right and you can also then see how the power is distributed which wheel is putting more power which wheel is putting less power you can also select and see that in here as well drive assistant you have lane assistant or lane control where the car will pull you um, if you are falling asleep and then apart from that you have your calm screen so a lot is happening here at the moment compared to the older model okay. the infotainment system it's quite a huge screen huge lcd screen you know just by putting my phone here you have your uh, wireless apple carplay and you also have your wireless charging right here and then you have the buttons here of course for your radio hazards are here parking um, your menu you, you also have driver assistance here you have a lot of different settings that you can choose in terms of driver assistance a lot of free it's like a phone lots of different settings from camera from lane assist front assist and you also have parking control driver alert and all that so it's really quite a lot that you can select there drive mode you have uh, four different drive mode you have normal you have eco mode if you are towing things or if you are in a um, slippery area. Type C port, and you also have the old USB, and you have your 12 volt outlet. The gear lever is quite different from the previous model. I like the fact that it has these wooden touches right here, and that trim, that chrome trim there, and the gear knob is quite different now. You press it on top here to change the gear from drive uh, neutral parking reverse the camera is really quite good and you also have then your parking this one has serious 4x4 you have the two wheel drive you can put it in four you need to put it in neutral um, for you then to put it in follow you can see when you put it in follow it disengages the traction control your brake very soft brake you just pull it it will immediately take over you have your traction control you can disengage it you have your descent control here and you have your uh, red differential lock cup holders right here the armrest with that stitching there as well that white stitch um, you still have that wooden feel right then you can open here um, and also you can then open here to store some of your things the door bins are much smaller compared to the previous model i'm not sure it's probably it's because of this made the door bin quite smaller inside here you have the harmon cardon sound system really really good sound system i can tell you now as soon as i open the door watch what will happen it puts itself in parking you have led this time led lights here oh it's still new let me peel them up Ooh, that feels nice Ooh, that's really nice yeah so you have led lighting here and also it's your mics as well right there so it's really quite good your mirror here you have your usb port as well you can charge your phone or your you can connect your gps here you have these pockets here um small pockets here and you have this armrest in between um, if you're sitting two people so the cup holders are now here 
yeah because previously the cup holders were somewhere here which was a useless idea i think here it's much better but if you have the third person here unfortunately you cannot use the cup holder i'm sitting at the here i've set here this thing really it's not so good for someone sitting at the back uh, in the middle but if you are sitting this side there's enough uh, leg room because you can push your legs right under there so that's quite um that's quite good that's quite okay and you also still have these hinges here this pocket looks smaller than how it used to look like in the previous model uh, the good thing is now you have the air vent here and also you have this house 230 volt a plug and also a 12 volt dc there all right so all in all that's how it looks like at the back so let me take it for a test drive before it's too late the new generation vw amarok this time comes in different engine powers starting from the 110 kilowatts 125 kilowatts 154 kilowatts of the two liters and 184 kilowatts of the three liter v6 engine this time vw brought back a single cab amarok which they call the workhorse the two liter double cabs this time comes in three different types one with basic features the life focuses on comfort the style focuses on comfort and design today here i have for you the style the top of the two liters even though i'm not a fan of the lovey dubby between the vw and ford on this amarok this machine has a lot of tech it's packed with the latest lightning technology, the IQ lights, LED matrix, and LED tail lights. With a towing capacity of over three tons, the new VW Amarok style comes with a new drive and suspension system. The style comes with a 10-speed automatic shift by wire, with a two-four motion system, which I still don't understand, an electronic differential lock with six different driving modes with an electric brake booster. Here, VW is tried to be fancy with an electronic metrical power steering. I do not know what that means. All I know is that the steering wheel this time feels much different from the previous generation. Passing these horses with clear Namibian blue skies, quiet meandering gravel roads in these mountain terrains, this is my favorite kinds of roads we have in Namibia. And with an Amarok here, it's tempting to drive for hours and hours and kilometers and kilometers on these roads. The Amarok does it with effortless. It makes driving pleasurable. This is a car made for Namibia. It's made for this kind of roads that we have in here. And it really feels good. It's pounding and pounding on these roads. Surprisingly enough, the turning circle of this car is really quite great as well. Very impressive for such a long car. I'm on two-wheel drive at the moment. So I just want to feel on two-wheel drive if it will slide uh, when I come on caves like this one. Okay, let's see. I'm coming hard on this cave. Let's see. Okay, uh, it slides. <laughs> yeah, I can feel that it slides when you get on cave while you are on two-wheel. You know, it, I can even feel that the car is swerving um, on two-wheel drive. Definitely, you can feel the difference. As I come on this curve, you can feel you can feel that sweat. Let me put it in four-wheel drive. So as long as I'm not driving too fast, I'll put it in four-wheel drive. It will indicate somewhere here as well, four edge. Now that I'm in four-wheel drive, I want to see how it will feel on caves. power is evenly distributed, I like it. Um, it. It just feels, the steering wheel now feels more solid compared to how it was coming on this bumpy cave. Oops! Coming on a cave, just applies the power evenly from the back, front, front to the back. It's just amazing. Oh, it's...
yeah, even with this bumpy gravel road, the suspension feels really good. You can feel that it's still solid on the gravel road. It's still really holding with the four-wheel drive. So I'm coming on a sharp curve, descending. With the speed that I'm doing now, it's quite good to see how it takes this with ease as well. Yeah, that's just, I mean, when you just put power, it just takes off and it just goes by itself. Yeah, the, the comfort is still much comfortable, uh, like how it was previously. And the fact that the tire pressure is on 1.7, so that makes it really comfortable on gravel road. It, it, it's just just takes it with ease. Um, I like the fact that now you have 4x4 four four low range with this L here. I'm not going to use it because the road that I'm driving does not require me to use low range. Look at this cave. Uh, the sharp cave. Uh, Taking it with this speed, it's just glued and it's applying power to all the wheels. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is something else. Um, yeah, I drove it on gravel road, so I'm going to put it back in two-wheel drive and just let the power be applied uh, to the rear wheels. That's all I wanted to do really, to test drive it and feel it on gravel road to see how it can take these bumpy roads, sharp caves on gravel road, so it still does the same, it's still very comfortable and I'll definitely, I'll definitely advise that as soon as you get on gravel road, put it in four wheel drive, put it in four high, that way you'll have really grip, nice grip for the car to control itself when you head onto the caves. On tar road, it's, it's solid, it feels, of course, it's still a new car, it feels quite solid. There is this red sign that keeps on, I'm not sure if you can see, it's right here. Every time you see it in red, that's now the means I'm, I'm on the lane. If I step on the other lane, on the side lane, it already start warning me. I'm, to, I'm stepping on that lane. When I move close to this lane, the steering wheel itself moves back. When I want to go to this lane, the steering wheel itself, it moves. So it's just assisting me. Uh, that's really heavy. For someone who's for the first time, it always feels quite funny. And when I leave, like right now, I'm not really holding. If I leave the steering wheel just for a few seconds, it's telling me my hands are off the steering wheel. On these straight, beautiful Namibian roads, drive assistant is quite handy here. This car feels like a sedan. These IQ lights are really quite intelligent. It really feels good. Driving back to the city on this meandering road. Thank you for watching this video until this far. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll help the channel to grow. Share, comment and leave me a like. Also, don't forget to tell me in the comment below what kind of cars would you want to see on YC Test Drive YouTube channel. If there is a car that you would want to buy or a car that you would want to sell, contact me, I will help you do that. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.